for a long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 33. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, do not fight.
Oh, that's a nice strike. Wow. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to ring down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He's having his way with him here. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bobby. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Okay, ready? Round two? You ready? All right, second round underway. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. And they separate. Oh, a little single call. Oh, nice job there. there. Then the takedown and scramble to his feet. Real quick leg kick. Landed that punch flush. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. All right, single collar tie now. A lot of power on display from Kamal Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamal Usman showed he did the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best walking in the world, he may just be the toughest walk away from the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. So 52 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Well, certainly picking the spots well tonight, landing with 64% accuracy against Francis Ngannou. Usman gets the tie clinch here. Look at the control of the posture as he landed. And him. both guys really throwing with authority. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, man, look at that. Victor, perfect. Got to the leg. Got to the... Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by... Potentially attempting a Von Flu? Wow.
Uh, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.